Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Valerie Dyson and today I am creating the autumn look you saw on the thumbnail. So I just woke up, took my kids to school, went and bought some gelatin to make a little jello brain dessert for tonight. And I need to get this off. I tried to get my makeup off from the night before, but I didn't try very hard. You know what I mean? So, sorry, I'm used to seeing the camera this way, not up there. But yeah, I want to play with the makeup that Ida sent me, and yeah, that's pretty much it. I want to use a rusty looking shade. Where did it go? You can't really see it through the thing, but yeah that rusty color and this is from simple beauty and it's their pigments i gotta switch this camera around it's bothering me i know i have been going for a little long time other than mine and ida's box swap that we recently did um yeah just a lot of things has been going on for the last couple years um especially this year but I'm going to focus on the positive today and not tell y'all about that. But yeah, I kind of want to come back maybe once a week. Maybe not. I'm not going to pressure myself into doing videos. I just want to, I just want to come back because it used to help me a lot through my anxiety and depression and yeah, it's time to come back. It's time. I think I'm going to use um, this palette too to go with that color. Also, Ida sent me. If you want to see those videos, um, I will leave that in the description box below so you can watch those videos. Let's see, I need to prime my lids first. And she did send me a primer, but it's really white. She sent me this Glam Light Icing Eyeshadow Base. It is good, but I don't really want something that strong um, of a color. So I'm going to use my um, Almost Out of the Essence I Love Color what intensifying eyeshadow base because it's not as is intensifying as that from glam light that she sent me but i do love it i just don't want it for this look and i have been using it it's on my table so but just not today just not today and all right to top off this i'm using the very little bit that it has left I love this stuff. I need to repurchase it. I just, I really haven't been buying any makeup other than for Ida, um, for that last box swap. And I don't know if I really am going to spend my money on makeup that much anymore other than our box swap because I was getting to spending too much, even though it was a great deal of what I was getting. It just, it wasn't necessary. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm still spending my money on unnecessary stuff, but it's a little bit, I don't know. You, I just get something more out of it. Like, i am been buying groceries more, and I've been cooking more this last year, and I must say, I am becoming a good cook. Never thought I would be. Um, no offense to my mama, but my husband likes my meatloaf better than hers. <laughs> um, and he likes his, my cooking a little bit more than other people's too. So, just saying, I'm getting good at it. <laughs> Let's see, I need to do brown brow bone. This is a Milani. Uh, fluffy eyeshadow brush. This 
is a good brush. If I was to make a makeup brush set, I would so have this color in it. Um, I just gotta show you. I haven't done my makeup on camera in a very good amount of time. Um, I'm gonna use this. I don't know that word. I know I probably should know it, but I don't know it. I'm gonna use this color right here to set my brow bone. Or maybe not. Not yet. No, no, no. I want to do something else first. I'm using the Makeup Mecca eyeshadow brush now. Um, that Otta sent me. And I'm going into... Hmm, I'm going rusty. I love this color, Secret Santa. That's like the perfect, um, I probably would get, be a good, like, bronzing shade, too, to be honest. But that's a good crease color to blend in whatever you're going for. I've used a, that shade a lot since our box swap. And you gotta keep in mind, I had my box, like, probably like a week before we posted that video, so I've probably used, yeah, I've used it a pretty good amount of times before this video. I've been loving it. And I like to kind of open, like open my eyes so I can see my fake crease that I need to do since I have such hooded eyes. And then make a shape that I want with that crease color. And then I'll go in with this big fluffy brush on that, that shade I showed you a second ago. Tap it off pretty good where it's almost non-existent and then just blend it a little bit. But I want to be doing this process in a minute anyways. Again. So I played a little bit off camera. Um, I kind of got distracted. I was thinking, damn, the color I'm about to play with, the pigment thing I was showing you earlier. This one. By the way, the color is shade 17B. Simply Beauty again. But I was thinking, that's like so my vibe. Especially, like, it reminded me like the 420 palette. But there's not a shade like it. Because this is the Simply Beauty swatch of that color. Which, you know, it's a loose pigment. And the 420 palette is pressed. Um, but these are the three colors that I thought might be somewhat similar, the closest to this color. But yeah, this one is definitely more rusty red, like brick red -y type of vibe. But it's still, that would be cool in that palette. Like, that's a good thing for here. This is what it looks like on the inside, just in case you're wondering. Um, yeah, it's missing like a reddish brown, I think. Because I mean, like fire, you know. I don't know. I would lock it in it. <laughs> if they want to make another 422 palette. Or. I don't know. Whatever. From Melt Cosmetics. They could. See what could they do. They can make a marijuana palette. Just go ahead and say it. Or a hemp palette. That would be even more awesome. I would like that. I would be on top of that. So I said I wasn't going to use that um, eyeshadow base from Glam Light, but I, I think I'm going to lie. And I'm going to put it on the lower part of my eyeshadow. I'm going to just like dab it on the brush and dab it pretty much the whole lower half raise up so I can see a guideline and dip 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 
Dabba 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 dab. Dabba 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 dab. Dabba roo. Maybe make a little bit of a wing. Not really. I'm going to clean it up with the Q-tip in a second. But yeah. I'm trying to clean it up. But not doing a good job. <laughs> It kind of just blends it almost, but more precise. Yeah, I like that. Here we go with the Simply Beauty pigment in that brick red color. Not even a rust color too much. I mean, it's kind of rusty, but not bad. And this is not packing. Hmm. And I'm just kind of outlining that lot part. I know it looks really messy right now, but we're going to clean it up and we're going to blend that. But I'm, I'm just showing you how I packed it on, like it's packed on there. And I'll, I'll make it look right in a minute, I promise. Let me go do the other eye real quick. <laughs> By the way, in case you're wondering, I'm using the Yes Facial Wipes. What is this thing? What flavor? It's got super berries. It's right there. Burp. Can't see it. Whatever. Um, it doesn't irritate my skin. I forgot which one did. I want to say it's a Burt's Bees one. One of them. I mean, there's so many wipes I've tried. I don't even remember which one I didn't like anymore. It's not the best cleansing wipe, but it's pretty good. So, if you see, like, a sale at CVS or you just want a good one that won't break you out but still smells. I don't really smell blueberries that much, but maybe a slight hint of it. And this is a good one. But I'm not really picky about my facial wipes, to be honest. When I run out of facial wipes, I always have, like, baby wipes, which those really suck. Um, but, yeah. I'll just let you know. Re revisiting that Secret Santa um, color, and I'm kind of tapping it off real good. And now I'm just basically going to outline that color with this color. Oh my gosh. I'm concentrating, man. I'm trying to concentrate. But basically, just get it where it's not gonna, like, take away that line, but just blend it where it's, like, one cohesive look. But that might not happen as much as I want it to. Because that eyeshadow base is like, you ain't budging once you get on there kind of way. But it'll be okay. And blend, and blend. Alright, I will be back right after I get done with this step on the other eye. Back in that light brown bone color. That I was using before. And I'm just kind of blending it again, but not really. Kinda, I kind of want it to be harsh, but not really, if that makes sense. And I'll probably a dab back in that crease color, actually. We'll see. And now I'm going back with that pigment from Slim Simply Beauty. Back into that packing brush and basically just going over that again. That line we made before, but now it's really powdery. And but some of it kind of came off when we was blending, and it just gives it more of a matte color if you go back into it, because you kind of rubbed it off, the powders off already. I'm trying to blend it, but now it's going to look a whole lot better after you did that because it looks blended. 
And one more little sweep just with the clean shadow brush. And that's exactly how I want it to look. We're not done. We're doing the rest of the face and I pull it all off. Right now I'm going to use this Makeup by Mecca concealer and I'm going to conceal my eyes. But this is kind of like eye care too. Look. That is so neat. It's got like a, I guess like an eye cream in it. I don't know. It just, it feels nice. And it doesn't settle in creases. Just hydrates your eyes, really. I want to put my foundation on top. And the foundation I'm going to use is the Physician's Formula Butter, Butter Believe It Foundation. This is the color, what is it? Light Clear. I think I should have had the one right above it, but who knows, that one might have been too dark. But this is another gift from Ida, so is the concealer. I love them both very, very much, and they look awesome together. Like, I love the combo. It's an everyday combo. I've been wearing the hell out of it. But I just realized I forgot to use my primer, but oh well, we're not going to do it. I normally use this, the Pure... 401 Correcting Primer. That's from a previous box swap of ours. Like, I don't even know how long ago. But yeah, I've been loving that. I think she bought that one. I don't know. I don't remember. But see, it is too light for me, I know. But covers really nicely. And we're going to bronze up in a minute. So it'll look alright at the end. Shit. That's not cool. But I'm going to blend this in right quick and I'll be back with y'all in a second. Now I'm going to use the Makeup by Makeup Cream Bronzer that Asada also sent me. Love it. I love cream bronzers. That's like my new bronzer thing. Like, she sent me the Huda Beauty one last time and I'll, I've, I've got a little left, but I've definitely pinned that sucker pretty good like yeah but I wanted to give this like a thing this is like a warmer tone than that one but they work just as good and I believe this one is like a drugstore but I'm not really sure like brand I'm not really sure I hadn't done my research I should do that today actually I probably in between takes start watching that on YouTube instead of just you know, rusty eyeshadow tutorials. Actually, I was watching a um, Melt Cosmetics makeup tutorial because I was trying to look for like tutorials um, on rusty looking looks because I had that eyeshadow and I wanted to use it. But I wanted inspiration, you know. So, you know, you get in a bunny hole once you start. But yeah, I like watching tutorials a lot. Just so you have something in the background, but also something that can inspire you with the look for the day. Maybe you have a dress you want to um, get inspired by. So you look up, I don't know. Things on Pinterest, red dress, makeup, or something. I don't know. Whatever. Let's see. I want to contour my nose, too. Don't laugh. This is how I've been doing my contour. Except for the line. I don't normally do that, but I did it today because I wanted to. Um, but, yeah. I'll put a line here all the way to the forehead on the side. And that's how I do my nose, little triangles basically on both sides and underneath and then this for today. Um, and then I'll just like, yeah, put the rest under here, but not as much as here, if that makes sense. But then I've been blending out with my beauty blender. But I've also used brushes. Like I said, I've been just playing with these 
product she sent me, so I don't know really the best way to use them, and you don't know until you try, so, aka, also known as playing with your makeup. Just looks so pretty. See how it blends in so nicely? But yeah, I'm gonna blend off camera. Now we're using the Makeup by Mecca Creamy Dewy Soft and Dewy Blush Cream Blush in Curl. I haven't tried the other shades just because it's over there. I'm over here and I've been mostly Mostly just focusing on the eyeshadow, not my actual blush. So, that's why I've not played with the different colors. Because this one works nicely with almost everything. This is probably not the best shade for this look. But it's going to blend in probably too. So, But yeah, I tap it out with my fingers a little bit sometimes first. And then I'll use a beauty blender. And it just melts in the skin. Burr, burr. I've been playing the, with the hell out of this Makeup by Makeup Soft Focus Ultra Fine Smooth Powder. I have been loving this. It is like the perfect. It's just the perfect. There it is. It's just perfect. It's nice and fluffy. And... It never looks too much, but then again, I have been really soft-handed, but, you know, judging from other powders, like, this is pretty much an uh, idiot-proof powder. Like, it's kind of hard to mess up on. Not saying you can't mess up on it, but, and I don't know how it does with, like, oily skin. I'm kind of dry skinned in, if not normal. So, it might not do enough work, which you need it to do if you need mattifying primer or powders. But just for me, for like my eyeshadow or whatever, not to transfer and just keep stuff in place, that's all I need it for. Um, it does a really good job because you know how you can get some that's like really freaking cakey and you barely use any or it makes me look like an old woman um, because it wants to emphasize like texture and like dryness and yeah so that's good for that okay that took a while okay um so one thing I just kept powdering my freaking face with this little big ass brush not necessarily uh, not necessary but I didn't justify going to get a bigger fluffier brush getting up for that but I did justify this brush um this is not from the box swap but it's um the believe beauty little angle brush well I have the kissa um J kisses collection by elf that little angled brush but I'm going to be using this hot cocoa color um, for my brows and I basically just outline my brows and fill it in that's it I'll show you real quick um, and I tap it off really good so it doesn't go on my face um but yeah you can use any little matte brown or whatever eyeshadow to be your brow color I like using powders just because my brows ain't that crazy, to be honest. Like, I got some pretty, pretty good brows. Um, so I don't need much. So the powder thing works great for me. But yeah, it just like fans out really easy. Sorry, I wasn't even seeing if I was in focus when I was doing this. And I haven't the whole time of doing this video. But whatever. See? You go from that to that. I'm going to go do the other side now. So I'm going to do my lower lash line. Doing this. Messing with the same colors I was uh, before. 
um, and doing my lower lash line. So I guess I'll just start with the um, rusty color from Simple Beauty um, and put that on my lower lash line. Tap it off real good though because like I want it inside my lash <laughs> line. I want it like an eyeliner. Um, <laughs> so I started watching my friend Ida's uh, older videos. Well, actually, I typed in Mecca, <laughs> Makeup by Mecca or whatever, and her videos like the first one that popped up. So I'm going to start watching that. And it looks like she did the purchase four months ago, which that's when I normally do too for hers. Um, but she bought some makeup, like a lot of makeup from that site. Um, what is this video called? New from Makeup Mecca Full Face of Cream Products. So, I'm going to watch that because it has been four months, so I don't really remember it too much. Um, see what her reactions were. See if she, I'm sure she got most of the same products. But, yeah. And as I do my makeup with y'all and pause in between, <laughs> now I'm going to use that, uh, Secret Santa out of the... Did I even tell you what that palette was? It was the BH um, Naughty eyeshadow palette. Where those other colors are coming from. But yeah, I'm going back in with Secret Santa. And now I'm going to kind of blend that. But also put down some pigment. Because I will be fluffing it out even more. But that's just like a... <laughs> a crease shade in my crease <laughs> pretty much like I did before I'm going to use the Milani brush with that color I don't know how to pronounce from the Naughty palette and I'm going to blend it even more because I want this kind of really smoky not put together um, I want it to be rusty <laughs> I'm using the Makeup Mecca Banger Mascara to coat my lashes, and I will say I, I, I really like it. It's different from the other formulas I've tried before, um, but I'm getting more and more used to it and how to use it the best. And what I like to do is kind of like get the top and bottom, like do this little motion, and then fan it out. And I'll let that dry while I do the other side. And then I'll do a second coat and I'll show you that. Alright, so after I coat my lashes, I like to use my fingers and kind of curl my lashes with this. Hold it for like 3 seconds to 10. And then let go. And look at that so far. This, I did a lot better. Because it was already drying as I used it. I went just dunked it once and did a cross. But I can make up with the second layer now. Um, yeah, I really love this mascara. So I'll just like focus on the ends now mostly. Keep them fanned out. But also kind of get the shorter ones. Or ones you want longer. And kind of focus on those with the tip. And then we'll do that with the other side. But at the end, I will do that little curling method with my fingertips again, too. And that helps out a lot. But I've liked doing this here recently. And really, I never wear makeup to work. Um, oh, no. Um, because I work. 12 hour sh shifts 
now. I just started doing like three days a week, 12 hour shifts. That's 36 hours a week. And then I'm done. <clears throat> so that's why I think I'll have enough time to come back to you guys. See how long it made it from where it was? Really long. And the only way, reason I'm doing that is because I don't have lashes right now. The ones that she gave me, I just lost. So, yeah, sorry about that, Ada. Okay, so I haven't tried this <laughs> this yet um, because I've been loving the bronzer so much. I uh, like the cream one. But I want to use this makeup, makeup, um, I don't know. It's a matte bronzer because that's what it looks like on the inside. But I haven't used it yet. So we'll see how this goes. <laughs> um, I don't really need any more bronzer. But I'm going to add some here. I don't know. No, because that never looks right when I try to. See, this is my skin. No makeup. And it matches that part. And that's how, like, my... Look. <laughs> look at my tan. Yeah, see? Mm. That's what I'm trying to match to. <laughs> the tanner spots. Hmm. Yeah, I like it. I don't think I'm going to go f really far with it. Like I did on the cream part. Oh, by the way, it's another makeup, makeup, makeup um, brush. She got me a brush set. Yeah, go check out her channel. Like any of her videos, really. I'm just going to leave her channel link down below. Not just, and maybe a thing to our box swap. But, I don't know. I'll probably just link her stuff. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. No, I'll put the playlist that I have of our box swaps down below, too. And, her, of course, her channel, but. Mm -hmm. I think I should use another different blush to brush to kind of blend it, but not really blend it. I don't know. Yeah, kind of blend it, but not really. Because... It's a little sharp. <laughs> mm. Mm. It didn't seem, send me any lip liners that I can remember, but I do really love this Milani understatement little lip liner in the t uh, color 150 cinnamon statement. I like using this for most of the stuff like makeup looks I've created here lately. Um, it's been really good. See, it's just like the perf perfect nude color that pretty much goes with everything. And it makes it feel more fall because of the name Cinnamon. And I guess you could consider this a cinnamon look too yeah this is like a cinnamon color not so much rusty I don't know it does look like rust though hmm. they didn't even name the color to the eyeshadow they just gave it a number pretty much it i'm gonna spray it with this grace and stella rose spray it says hydrating facial spray and i was really surprised this rose scent didn't um, break me out because most rose scented items in the past have broke me out but not this one not so far and i've been using it yeah, a good amount of time so I'm going to go and get, do my hair and put on my clothes for the day, and I will be right back. All right, I am back. I hope you enjoyed this video of this autumn look that I created today using that Simple Beauty, some makeup, Mecca, and BH, and Physician's Formula, all that good stuff. Um, this rusty eye shadow look, cinnamon look whatever you want to call it. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. 
and I will see you buddies on the next video. Bye!